Hello friends, hope you are all doing well. In today's video, we will discuss how to make a FTIR graph in Origin Pro software. So, in this video, our main focus is to answer three main questions. Number one, how to plot an FTIR graph using Origin Pro software. Number two, how to reverse axis values of uh, FTIR graph. Number three, how to save an FTIR graph in PNG form. So, let's start. First of all, in order to plot an FTIR graph, we need to add FTIR data here. So, um, first go to your Excel sheet. Just copy your FTIR data. We are, I am copying only two columns because third column is um, related to after uh, treatment or after absorption process. So, we will discuss this uh, third column later. So in order to plot an FTIR graph, you just need to add wave number and percentage transmittance in Origin Pro. So I just copied my FTIR data here and paste uh, in Origin Pro software. Keep in mind, you have to paste your FTIR data uh, in the same row where numbering number one has been started. You don't need to paste data from first row okay so just place a cursor here and right click and paste your copy data here after that write your x axis title here that is long name uh, for example in FTIR graph you take wave number on x axis so just write axis title here write the unit of wave number that is per centimeter after that write the axis title that is that you are using on y axis for example on y axis you are taking transmittance so here i write transmittance and what's the unit of transmittance that is percentage so i write percentage here okay after writing the axis title and putting axis data i just um, click on both axes and after clicking just go to toolbar here and click on plot when you click on plot here you can see our dialog box has been opened here um, you click on basic 2d so here you can find different types of graphs here whatever the type of graph you want to use for example if i want to use a line graph i just click on line and here you can see a line graph of FTIR has been plotted so the second question is how to reverse the order of axis values. For example, if you see x axis value started from 500 and ends on 5500. So it started from around about 250 uh, per centimeter and ends on 4500. So the correct order of axis values in FTIR graph is from higher to lower. For example, um, in FTIR graph, usually the values uh, axis uh, x axis value started from a uh, higher value for example in this case it is 4500 so 4500 should be here and 500 or 250 should be there so in order to reverse the values uh, order just double click on any of the value of x axis here you can see a dialog box is opened just click on scale and here uh, you can see it is uh, saying from to uh, so you need to change from for example if you want to start your graph from 4500 just uh, write 4500 here if you want that your graph ends on 400 just click 400 250 300 350 whatever the value you want to and um, the graph after writing just click on ok or you can also press enter here here you can see the reverse order has been updated all the values are reversed that is uh, started from 4500 and ends on 400 ok so the next and last question is how to save um, your FTIR graph in PNG form. So in order to save this graph, click on file. Here you can see the option of export graph. Click on export graph uh, and then open dialogs. So um, keep in mind that uh, if you um, if you click on file 
two types of uh, things are obtained if you already finished your graph then you can uh, then you will uh, see these kind of option one last used and open dialog if you are a new or you are a fresher um, for origin pro then you just need to double click on export graph okay so when you uh, you already used or already saved uh, your previous data then you need to press on open dialog so after opening dialog just click on image type for example in which form you want to save your uh, FTIR graph either it is stiff jpeg png or whatever or pdf so if i want to uh, save my FTIR graph in png form i click on this uh, if you want to um, give it any name just write name here or uh, and what is the file path where you want to save your file for for this i you i select desktop for example um, if you want to save it in any other folder just select a folder from here uh, and how you can select from a folder by just clicking on three doors when you click on three doors you can see different folders here you can save it in desktop or libraries or any other folder you want to save okay so uh, graph size is this one and dpi if you want to change the dpi of graph into 600 dpi then you can select 600 dpi okay if you want to change it into 300 dpi then you uh, click on 300 dpi so after clicking just click on ok your file or your ftir graph will be saved in your desktop folder now move towards ftir uh, folder here you can see a graph one has been saved in your desktop here it is in the png form okay so here in this way you can plot an ftir graph you can reverse the order of x axis values and you can save your ftir graph in the form of png so uh, i hope this helps you in plotting your ftir graph stay tuned with the young researchers for many more informative videos thank you very much for your valuable time